And now we're working the very latest on Providence's financial crisis. The fallout continues today from the announcement of widespread police layoffs. We've been on top of this story all week long, and the police union is now blasting the decision, which the mayor says is necessary to save the city from financial ruin. We're now learning that the conflict may impact a possible visit by the U.S. Attorney General to the police headquarters. I'm going to reporter Walt Buteau is live in Providence now with more on what he's learned. Walt? Of course, this could add some fuel to the already difficult negotiations here, but the administration is telling us today that whether or not Eric Holder visits, keep in mind that that was scheduled by Senator Sheldon Whitehouse. And if he had it in his schedule, he may have visited here uh, to the public safety complex. That was very, very tentative. Do we know why he's not now visiting here? I don't know why. It could be scheduling, it could be a combination of things. I don't know. It's a tight schedule. Could it be because of the turmoil in the budget? I'd be speculating. I just don't know. But the other side comes from the head of the police officers union who says it's a safe assumption that Eric Holder is not visiting the public safety complex because of the layoffs. So it's a challenge. But but while that potential controversy is debated, Commissioner Perry tells us the focus here is finalizing the cuts that could pull up to 80 officers from the department. Colonel Perry also tells us as far as figuring out where those officers will come from, there's no doubt they will not all come from the streets of Providence, but they're still working on that. It could be a matter of consolidating some task forces. It could be a matter of desk jobs becoming road jobs, but he's confident that the city will remain safe despite the cuts. More tonight on Eyewitness News. Now we're live in the mobile newsroom in Providence. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.